NCAA football is returning. In July 2024, it seems that according to Sports Illustrated, EA Sports College Football is back in the form of EA Sports College Football 25. We have no idea what this game is going to look like, play like, feel like, but boy are the expectations higher than ever. There's been an 11 year hiatus from one of the most beloved franchises in sports gaming history, one that had Todd Howard saying that it was the best sports game ever. As a young boy from Alabama and SEC country, who was a big time Auburn fan, EA Sports Football was a huge part of my childhood, adolescence, and just general entertainment for myself, my stepbrother, and my friends. NCAA became a way for me and my friends to create an alternate universe where we were the play callers, we were the game changers, and that team we chose to take all the way to the top got there because of us. As an Auburn fan in the early 2000s, many times it was being able to take Auburn to the type of glory that they hadn't seen since the 1957 season, and would later ch achieve again under Cam Newton's care. My first NCAA football was NCAA football 2003, with an imposing Oregon quarterback on the cover, Joey Harrington. As a 10 or 11 year old, I didn't know who this joker was. All I wanted to do was get in the game and play with my Auburn Tigers. No names, just numbers, playing with the team that I knew and loved. When that became too easy, I decided to create a school, a long since removed feature that was so creative and easy and fun. This feature allows you to create a college football program ranging from a half-star cupcake school struggling to string together even a single win to a three-star middle-of-the-road school fighting for a bowl bid, and finally a five-star powerhouse program that could dominate all the competition, winning the national championship as a team and personal accolades for the players along the way. Insert your Heisman Trophy here, your Jim Thorpe Award, and your Dope Walker Running Back Award, just to name a few. These teams that you could create were generic in just about every single way, from the mascots all the way down to the logos you could choose. But there was something special about it, even though it was generic, because it was something that you created. The Tiburons is the most memorable one for me though. This may be in part since NCAA was developed by Tiburon Studios. They had a pretty badass logo, but this creation process just, it scratched an itch nonetheless. And this ability to create my own team and story always spoke to me, even long after it had been removed. Where most other games couldn't fill that need, NCAA just hit the spot. I love my team Auburn, you can see I'm wearing my sweatshirt now, but I love taking a no-name school that had never had any real sense of success and growing them into a perennial powerhouse. Insert your so why not just go ahead and pick Auburn joke here. As we got older, my stepbrother and I would play a dynasty together and we created a set of rules. We couldn't be Alabama and we couldn't be Auburn. He was an Alabama fan, I was an Auburn fan, and we just didn't want to worry about making the other person mad. Couldn't be an SEC team because they were too good and could walk all over the competition. Some things never change. What we had to do was pick a one-star team, and we would pick a terrible team, and we would make my stepdad, his dad, Coach Mike, the head coach. He was a D-line coach in real life. And off we would go onto the journey to take a Sunbelt Conference, a Conference USA team, a MAC team, or a Mountain West team without any automatic bowl bids to the glory land of championship football. There was nothing like it and nothing more rewarding. We would take turns playing. If we won the toss, he always took the first offensive possession. He was a better offensive player and had to defend his score as a result. If we lost the toss, I was pretty good at defense, so I always took the first defensive responsibility. We knew our roles. We trusted each other. We worked together, win or lose, and that way the only person you could blame for giving up points was yourself. Plus it helped decrease the amount of bickering along the way. In college, my best friend and I would have all-nighters on the weekends to try and take Vanderbilt Commodores to glory, driving my mom insane as we played through the night. I can still hear her plodding footsteps after we yelled because of a big play and remember the terror as we tried to quickly go, I'll cut the lights, you get the TV, pretend to be asleep, just from fear of Deborah's wrath, justified as it was. All the while continuing the journey towards college football greatness after waiting until she fell asleep again and we could quietly resume playing that wonderful game, knowing full well that we would wake her up and she would get mad again. 
As the game developed over the years and gameplay got better, recruiting became a differentiator and a skill that could help set you apart from the competition, my buddies and I started playing online dynasties against each other. You could import teams to the team builder and replace an existing team with those same teams and see who was the best long-term coach in this imaginary world, our world. And just as the game was coming into its prime, it was all gone. But the memories that we made, that I made, are still there. Many of my favorite moments, not just in sports gaming, but in gaming as a whole, came as a result of this game. From taking the Ohio Bobcats to three national championships back to back to back, with top 10 recruiting classes all along the way, to creating the first online dynasty with my buddies, picking an SEC team, with the only rule being, you can't pick Bama to watching Mr. Hurricane create hours and hours of content with the Minnesota Golden Gophers, UTSA Roadrunners, and the Kalispell Warhawks all striving for glory, and many more. No one can take away these memories, but hopefully we can begin to forge new ones. Join me as I play one last dynasty before the new game releases, and help me in the journey to build the Colorado Buffaloes into the powerhouse that Primetime intended. I'm gonna be taking Colorado to grow them into the champions they deserve to be. Join me as I play NCAA College Football Revamped one last time.